Diane, will you call the roll? Council Member Jackson? Here. Council Member Silva? Present. Mayor Pro Tem Viegas Walker? Here. Mayor Solomon? Here. And Council Member Sanders? Here. We'll have the Pledge of Allegiance by Mr. Silva and the invocation by Ms. Walker. Sorry, Mrs. Story. Mr. Chuck Story. Chuck Story. Please join me in saluting our flag. Uh, ready to begin. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you. Mrs. Story, please remain standing. Would you please bow your heads and join me? Our gracious Heavenly Father, Lord, we pause at this time to reflect and recognize your presence with us this evening. Father God, as this city, this community, this council takes this opportunity to reorganize, Lord, may we offer you our thanks for your blessings upon our city and upon those who have served us in the past and those who will serve us in the future. Father God, while we're offering thanks for service, may we thank our service men wherever they are in this country or traveling abroad in their efforts to protect this country. Lord, bless our local firemen, our police officers as they protect the city. Again, Lord, may we ask your blessings upon those who have served us. Ask your continued blessings on the new members as they come to the council. And Father, especially grant your wonderful peace and blessing to Mr. Solomon as he moves on to new ventures and enjoyment of time away from the council. Father God, we ask your blessings in your son's name. Amen. Amen. We have one consent agenda item. A resolution? Yes. I would move approval of the resolution. Uh, resolution 13 107. 107, resolution of the City Council of the City of El Centro, reciting the fact of the general municipal elections held on November the 5th, 2013, declaring the results and such other matters as provided by law. Second. We have a motion and a second. Please vote. Motion carries 5 0. We have recognition for outgoing mayor, presentation by the mayor pro tem, Vegas Walker. There'll, there'll be time for comments later, which is good because it's going to take me some time to collect myself to say goodbye to Mr. Solomon. Um, so this is this is kind of a you know, little presentation. Um, City of El Centro Mayor 2012-2013. Benjamin James Solomon, and it comes with his own uh, gavel to keep order in his, in his home. So at this time, on behalf of myself and other members of the council, uh, Ben, we'd like to thank you for your year of service of ma as mayor and present you this plaque. Mm -hmm. have a presentation by the city manager. Uh, Mayor, I'll come to the podium. Mayor, each year we, our staff, prepares a binder of significant documents of uh, publications related to the city and is presented each year to the outgoing mayor. Uh, it's been a real pleasure putting this book together. My staff has enjoyed it. And, but I always, when I get this binder, I turn it over and I start at the first page. And the first page, uh, after your uh, uh, appointments, is the opening of the library. And looking at that closure of that library for two and a half, three years, uh, is such a moment of we're moving forward. We've gotten through this one and uh, knowing that we're going to go forward again. So along with this uh, and our uh, celebration of your service several weeks ago on uh, the eight years of 
projects and, and successes. It's a privilege to give you this binder, but quite frankly, it, you have a lot of binders at home, and I want to congratulate you and your family for the uh, sacrifice and service. Thank you. If anyone else wants to give me anything, I'm not going <laughs> Please, at this time, come up. Chamber of Commerce. Mr. Mayor, thank you. Thank you very much for all the work you've done to the city of El Centro and especially to the business community. On behalf of the El Centro Chamber of Commerce, I'd like to present you this pack. And today is in wood, so I won't break it, okay? <laughs> <laughs> for your standing service to the city of El Centro, citizens, and business community during his, your term as mayor 2012 and 13. Thank you very much. Thank you. <laughs> okay. Oh, for, for those of you that don't know, we had a separate private party uh, or a different party for Mayor Solomon where he was showered with gifts. So this was, he was looking to see if there's anything else for you. <laughs> I think that now we can move on. Yes. So what do you want to do with I think what we'll do is take a, just a brief recess while um, you and I step down for a minute and then we welcome or, up our new council um, member. Or would we, do you think it might be equally important for us to, for those of us remaining here, to have our farewell statements to Mr. Solomon? Um, I was actually going to do that at the end. At the Comments end? Comments from council. Okay. Council members, All right. All right. Unless yes. you'd like to, would you like to? Well, I will uh, follow your lead. Okay. I think I'd like to make a couple of comments. First of all, I'd like to say that one of the things that has been an enjoyment for me is I like working with smart women. Uh, I consider my wife to be very smart and I work with her every day. But I've had an opportunity to work with three outstanding women. Rosanna Moore, Cheryl Vegas Walker, and Sadea Sanders. And I've learned so much from the three of them. Uh, it has been a pleasure. They are such brainy people. And they're very, very sharp, very, very smart. I wish I could say that I've taught them a few things, but I have not. Uh, they are just outstanding women. And as you can see, I have them on each side of me. That's how smart I think they are. The guys, they can go down the other end. They're smart. <laughs> These smart women have got to be around me because they just let you know when you need help and let you know when you for, for forgetting things. And I, I just want to say thank them. I just want to say thank you to them. Um, Cheryl and I go back a long ways. Uh, when I was over in China with her, uh, they act like they didn't want me to leave the country. And Cheryl stayed there with me until it was time for me to go. And since they saw I had someone representing me, uh, they decided to move me along. And if it wasn't for Cheryl being there, I kind of questioned if I would have made it out of China. But one of the things Cheryl has said, and she has said it from the day I came on until just the other day, and she says the same thing, I, I got your back. And she has proven to have been that type of person my eight years on the city council. I'd also like to thank Mrs. Sanders. Uh, 
I've, I've known Sedalia for uh, gee, a whole lot of years. And uh, being on this council has allowed me to get another opportunity to see her in a different light. And the fact that she is truly uh, like the other women, just high class. She is a person that if you had a daughter, you'd want them to be like Sedalia, uh, as sharp as she is. Uh, and not only that, but she's a humble person. And about six or eight months ago, we became prayer partners. And so since I've been confined to a wheelchair, she has been uh, able to talk with me in the morning and, and, and pray. And so I've gotten to learn a lot about prayers by listening to her. And for me, it has just been that extra, that extra push that she gives me every morning to start me on my way. And I certainly appreciated that. And uh, I love her to death. On the men's side, there was uh, a young man that I thought was just extremely bright. You know, most of the time I find women bright, but this young man was also bright, and his name is John Edney. And watching him and seeing him uh, develop and really become a very hard worker on this city council, all the people that I work with, they come prepared. They come to make life better for the residents of El Central. Then there's Ephraim Silva, who I have known. And I, I, I've oftentimes wondered, when I listen to him talk, how proud his father must have been of him for all the things that he has been able to accomplish when you think he moved into Holtville and couldn't even speak English. And here he is now on the city council not only that, he's had some really outstanding jobs in his life. And he's moved through the system. And now he's out at IVC doing a bang-up job. Just really tremendous. And to think, he didn't know one single word of English. And here he is today, knocking down all kind of barriers. And I just think, he's a smart guy. Thank you. And then there's Mr. Jackson. Uh, Jason is new to the city council, but I know that he has his heart in this city. And you can't ask for anything more than that. It's just for people should love this city and want to leave it better than when they found it. And that's the job of a member of the city council. Make sure you leave the city better than you found it. And Jason will be one of those who does that. I'd like to just thank two other people. Mr. Durant, who is another smart person. The guy knows everything. There's not too many things you can get by him. He just surprises me. Whenever I talk to him, he surprised me with all the knowledge he has about city government. It's kind of like he, didn't, he, he doesn't have a life. He just seems like he just... <laughs> reads and reads and reads and reads and he's you can ask him about anything and he'll give you an answer I don't know if it's always right no 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 <laughs> <laughs> he is always right and that's the thing that I like about him and then there's Chris who handles the legal side of things and she has done an outstanding job here for this city uh, and we are very fortunate to have her not only does she work hard but the people in her office work hard. It's like the best gets better when the jobs are the toughest. And Chris and her staff really does that. So without saying anything else, I just want to say it has been a privilege, a privilege for me to serve the people of El Centro. I grew up here. My father was the first black deputy sheriff here. Du Bois McGee became a city councilman. Sadea Sanders became a city councilman person. And I became a city council person. We've only had three blacks, but that's okay. Times are changing, and we're looking for bigger and better things from all of the people in Imperial Valley. 
and El Centro in particular. So, thank you very much. few moments here while we re adjust. As, as we're getting uh, situated here, the next item on the agenda will be the administration of the oath of office and presentation of certificates of election to the newly elected council members. This presentation will be by our fabulous uh, city clerk, Ms. Diane Caldwell. So at this point in time, we'd ask Alex to come. Is he doing it down here by the podium? And photography is allowed. <laughs> Jesus, everyone has their camera out. <laughs>
Are we ready? Okay. At this time, nominations are now open for mayor. Uh, it is uh, my privilege and, and honor to uh, <coughs> to motion to approve uh, to appoint Mrs. Uh, Viega Cheryl Walker as the mayor of El Centro for the next year. Second. Nominations are closed, Madam uh, Chair. Nominations are closed. <coughs> Please ballot. <coughs> motion carries five zero. Thank you very much. Thank you. At this time, I would like to open nominations for uh, Mayor Pro Tem. I would move to uh, put uh, Efren Silva as our Mayor Pro Tem. I will second. Nominations are closed, Madam Chair. We have a motion and a second. Please ballot. Motion carries 5-0. At this time, we'll open up uh, for remarks of council members, and why don't we start with our newest council member, Mr. Cardenas. Great. Well, thank you very much. I'm, it's just an honor and a privilege. Um, you know, the city of El Centro is a rising star, and um, there's just so much to look forward to our city. Um, I'm just excited to be here. It's a, it's a beautiful city with great people, and it's a wonderful place to raise a family. And I'm just grateful to be a part of this council. Um, I do want to thank the citizens of El Centro for affording me this opportunity and the trust they have placed in me as well. Um, I really believe that I can bring some skill sets to this city and probably the virtues that my parents have instilled in me are uh, passion, work ethic, and diplomacy. So I, I'm really just grateful to be up here. Um, I do want to give a special thanks to our public safety employees. I am just so grateful for, for all the things that you do for our city and, and keeping our community safe and our schools. And, and the reason uh, that our city is safe is because of your, your efforts, and, and that deserves recognition this evening. So thank you so much for all that you do. And to our public works as well, you guys do an incredible job. Thank you for keeping our city beautiful. And, and all the work that you do in, in that area. And the city administration, you guys are awesome. And thank you so much for everything you do. You are the glue to our city, and I wanna thank you guys as well. So um, again, just extremely grateful to the city council. You guys are an A team, and I am just glad to be a part of, a part of this group of folks. And I look forward to being mentored by, by all of you. And, and I do wanna thank you for reaching out to me and to my uh, family and friends and all those that are out there, thank you for everything you've done. You've made a dream come true. To my father, who worked for Public Works for 32 years, thank you, sir, for everything that you've done. So, uh, so just, uh, just lastly, uh, you know, again, I, I do want to thank Mayor Solomon. You have definitely put some huge shoes out there for me to fill and I will do my very best sir to to uh, to fill those shoes but I do want to thank you for your public service you're an awesome mentor and you're you're an excellent role model for our community God bless you sir and uh, thank you very much for this opportunity so uh, council member reminded me to thank my beautiful wife Brandy <laughs> <laughs> Otherwise, I'd be sleeping on the couch, so <laughs> thank you. There's a reason we put you between the two smart women. <laughs> okay. um, Mr. Jackson? Sure. Well, first off, I'd like to, uh, I'd like to thank Ben. Um, eight years serving the city of El Centro. Uh, the last two years um, being a colleague of mine. Uh, I'd like to think the last eight, nine years uh, being somewhat of a friend. We, we met each other uh, years ago on the campaign trail, and uh, we've been uh, um, close ever since. We've, we've been able to share stories. We, we did that yesterday, actually. And uh, Ben and I have traveled similar paths uh, to get to where we are now, and so um, we do have some things in common. And, and Ben, you've, uh, 
you serve with dignity, you serve with uh, high ethics and integrity, and I appreciate that as well as I believe the city of El Centro appreciates your service to the, to the city of El Centro. So thank you first and foremost. Um, welcome to our newest uh, council member, Alex. I believe uh, um, just in your speaking now, you, everybody can see your passion, and I think that uh, you're going to be a, a great addition to our council. Uh, to Cheryl, congratulations. Um, another person that um, has served the city very well and uh, lots of years, as well as uh, Sedalia. And uh, they are two smart women, Ben, and uh, we, we owe a lot to them. And I don't know, I guess they're going to stick you between them. Maybe that, that's a, a good thing, Ox. <laughs> um, but, um, you know, I, I look forward to the next uh, couple years of this council. I, I think we've got a great team. I think we're, as a city, we're moving in the right direction. We've got lots of projects coming up. Uh, we've accomplished a lot in the last couple of years, and we have so many more things to accomplish uh, together. So I look forward to working with, uh, with my current colleagues and my new colleague and uh, moving the agenda of our city forward and in a positive manner. So thank you very much. The mayor has given me the nod that it's my turn to speak, and I certainly appreciate that, Mayor Walker. Uh, I'd like to start out by first congratulating yourself as mayor and Mr. Silva as mayor pro tem, certainly Mr. Cardenas for joining this club, and I appreciate the fact that you called it an A-team. I agree with that 100%. Uh, I then wish to focus my time on the staff, who's been excellent. And I think Mr. Solomon said it quite well about how wonderful our staff is, which help us look good. But to Mr. Solomon, yes, we've known each other for a number of years. And as you know, we're celebrating the 50th anniversary, unfortunately, of uh, the assassination of John F. Kennedy. But Kennedy wrote this marvelous book, Profiles and Courage. He wrote that book uh, talking about individuals who established policy against many headwinds. But as I look at Mr. Solomon, I would paraphrase that and say he has certainly been a profile in courage. He has taken the physical challenge that he's had and not allow them to weigh him down and keep him from doing the work of this community. That proves to me that he's very committed and dedicated to the citizens of El Centro. So Ben, I tip my hat to you. I wish you well. And for you and I, who remember the days of the old cowboy movies, especially with Gene Archery and Ron Rogers, happy trails. <laughs> happy trails to you, Ben. And <clears throat> As we sit here, it's already been established that uh, it's a joy to be having the opportunity and a privilege to serve a city like El Centro, a city that's the county seat of the county where expectations are high, and this council has always risen to that level. So I want to thank all of you for the opportunity that you've given all of us to serve you. Thank you very much. Thank you, uh, Ms. Mayor. Um, first of all, let me uh, again um, congratulate you on your re-election and your appointment as the new mayor. Uh, all of us have known Cheryl for a long time. We know how dedicated you are, how passionate you are for the betterment of our city. And so we look forward to uh, uh, another great year in El Centro. So congratulations. Alex, welcome to, to our council. Uh, I know that together we will continue to do the good things for our citizens in El Centro. Uh, and for the betterment of our community. And um, I also want to thank the, uh, the council for entrusting me with your appointment as the mayor pro tem. Uh, it's been really uh, uh, another pleasure, uh, uh, pleasurable year serving in this council, especially in the, the leadership of Mr. Solomon. Uh, ben and I go uh, way back, um, both of us having worked uh, at IBC. So I know firsthand his professional qualities and his personal qualities. He served the city um, very honorably for eight years, two of them as our mayor. But he served the community much longer than that. Uh, in his job uh, through the SBDC and, and helping small businesses, uh, in our hospital board, with the county of Imperial, 
uh, and many other ventures. And I will tell you um, that Ben uh, is and was probably one of the best speech instructors at IBC, and he impacted thousands of children and thousands of young people in our community. So, uh, Ben, I, I want to thank you for that. Um, I do not know, probably will never meet anyone more collected than, than you, more thoughtful than you, uh, and you've inspired me tremendously, and thank you for your kind words, and, and I wish you the best in, in your life, in your health, and maybe I don't say this enough, but God bless you. I'd like to thank all of you uh, for being here tonight to celebrate this occasion, to celebrate Mr. Solomon and his years of service, to celebrate uh, our new colleague on the council, Mr. Cardenas, to celebrate really the democratic process that allows us to freely transition from one set of elected officials to the next, and to do it with a spirit of, of celebration and camaraderie. Mr. Solomon, I love you, and I have so enjoyed working with you on this council, and it's very difficult for me um, to capture in words how much you've meant to me. But I will say that um, you've left an impression in my life that I will carry with me forever, and I wish you nothing about but good things as you move on to your next adventure. I would like to thank those that, that helped me most recently with my campaign. Um, I see a lot of very, very dear friends here in the audience tonight, and you guys mean the world to me. Especially my husband, Steve, who um, has put up with me for a very, very long time. <laughs> um, if there's anybody on the planet that deserves a medal, it's that man. So, thank you, Steve Walker. I love you. I'd like to uh, reflect for a few minutes on, on my tenure on this council. And I think that they say a picture tells a thousand words. Well, you can look at my picture on the wall there that was taken 16 years ago when I um, first joined the council. And Rosario, I promise that I will update that picture. <laughs> um, there's been a lot of really, really tremendous things that the city has accomplished. And we've accomplished it together. We've accomplished it as members of the council. And we've accomplished it because we have, without a doubt, the finest city staff that anyone could ever ask for. I see their dedication every day, and they're the ones that make this job so rewarding. You do all the hard work and we get all the credit. There's something a little bit of a mismatch there. But I have to say, I would like this opportunity for every single member of the city staff that's present here to please stand and be recognized for your service. If, if there's um, one thing I've learned, that's, that is that I don't stand between my friends and a good glass of wine. So at this time, um, I think if there are other members of the audience that would like to come forward and say a few words, we'll entertain that. Is there anyone that would like to step forward? Oh, no. Yeah. <laughs> this ought to be good. <laughs> a few words. Well, well, Ben's sneaking out, but I did want to say um, this is a great place to live. You know, and, and as someone who has represented or sat on boards and commissions for the last 30 years, I kind of have I kind of have a notion for how city councils ought to run. Um, and under Ben's leadership, it, it was a joy to kind of watch you guys um, as an interested observer and in, in getting things done. Because that's what you're supposed to do for the rest of us, right? You're supposed to get stuff done. Uh, you got a great city staff, and just the small little world I have in in youth sports. And I know that Ben was instrumental, but. Chris Legakis and Christy Reiser do a wonderful job of accommodating not just the soccer kids, but, but all the athletic kids, uh, which makes this a great place to live. City streets look good. When my kids come home, um, 
you know, we live here, and I, we don't, I think we don't re always realize how much is going on, but when I, my kids come home, they go, wow, when did they build that? Mm -hmm. So there's some great stuff here. Alex, you're going to be a great addition to this thing. Congratulations on that, and I applaud you on your election. And um, I hope no one ever gives Cheryl a hammer at any point in time, like a gavel or anything <laughs> sent home. That would just not be a good idea. Thank you, sir. <laughs> Nothing else. Uh, there's no other business for us to transact at this time, and this meeting is adjourned. Thank you again for being here.